Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. How to determine if the value is numeric or not numeric in SQL Server? So the solution on the right side, what we see, there are multiple ways to do that. One, we use is numeric function that is available in old versions and new version SQL 2005, 2008, 2008 R2 and 12 and the SQL uh, 2014. Or we use the new function that was introduced in SQL 2012 and uh, it is available in SQL Server 2014 as well. So we can use try convert, uh, that's a newly added function. We can use that one. Or we write our own function or script to find out if the value is numeric or not. So in this one, we are going to convert the very first two points. We are going to use is numeric and try convert. And I, I might write my script and post on the blog post for the third one. But we are going to use the built-in functions to find out. So let's go and take a look. Right now I'm in SSMS and uh, I'm going to use is numeric first and show you a few things. So I am saying is numeric, so that's the function. And then uh, if we provide the expression or the value to it, uh, it is going to return us uh, one or zero. So let's say if I provide two, what happened? It is returning me one that is indicating, uh, okay, the value you have provided is uh, numeric. So if I will, uh, let's say if I will provide a now it is telling me okay the value you have provided is not numeric so when it return you one it mean the value is numeric when it is provide you zero it mean the value is not numeric but there are certain things what is numeric and it doesn't work the way it is expected to so it work with the decimals as well so let's say if I will say 2.3 it should return me one so it is returning me it also works uh, with the money so if I will provide dollar sign 400 it uh, will return me one so uh, but now th that's the good part we have seen about the numeric let's uh, find out few more scenarios where it doesn't work so let's say if I'm providing uh, the hyphen here so hyphen is uh, non numeric we know that and it is returning me one that's a false information so that uh, is numeric is not working correctly with the hyphen let me put a couple of spaces here and run this uh, script so it is uh, returning me zero that's good indication but let me uh, put uh, another uh, let's say we put uh, 23 D and then we put uh, 77 let's say if I will put this one so it is returning me okay this is one so D might might took as a decimal and thought okay it is decimal but how about if I put one more seven here but it returned now it is returning me zero so there is no kind of standard thing uh, uh, if uh, even let's say if the D is at the end uh, we have more digits here and we have D here it is returning me zero so if uh, you have two digits uh, after D it is returning one but if you don't ha ha have the D in other place or have more numbers after the D it will return you zero so it is not working as expected so there are other scenarios as well where is numeric is not working the right way so let's say we have dollar sign 400 or 300 yes it is a money and it is converted now if I will put a uh, another dollar sign here now it will return me uh, uh, it returned me incorrect syntax uh, so let's uh, can take this one and try this one so still it is returning me incorrect uh, syntax if I will put uh, the quotes uh, I'm using this one as a string uh, so I put a $300 sign at the end uh, so it is uh, returning me uh, zero now if I will put in the front that's the right way to write the money so it will uh, return me one so there are certain things uh, with the is numeric that doesn't work great especially when it comes to I showed you D and hyphen and all those kind of things now in uh, as uh, SQL Server 2014 and 2012 as well we have a new function called try convert so let's try that one 
So what we have to do here, we have to provide the target data type to which we want to convert. So let's say I want to convert to integer and I want to uh, have one here. So what will happen if I run this one, it is going to return me one. If I will return 100, sorry, put 100 here, it is going to return me 100. So it is taking my value and converting to the integer but let's say if it not it it will not be able to convert uh, this value let let's put, put uh, maybe a at the end so it will return uh, null so that's good indication okay so we can use this function uh, to find out if uh, our values are numeric uh, or not so we can use a decimal as well so let's say i want to do 15 comma 3 so if i run this one fine so it is returning me uh, null for because 100 a is not a numeric so that's good thing if it returns us null we can consider okay this value is uh, non-numeric and if it returns us the value we will consider this one as a numeric value so one more thing uh, I would like to say let's consider a few things with the uh, try convert as well so if I will put uh, a space here or just leave this one blank what will happen it is returning me zero so I don't think so I mean I'm putting a let, let me put a couple more uh, spaces here so if you see I have put spaces here so how come it converted to zero uh, maybe I don't know maybe it's the right thing in some scenarios but maybe not correct for me I, when there is a space in the data um, cell I want to consider that one is null because there is no value and zero is a value I don't want to consider okay there is a zero in that cell so that that's also critical here if you see one more thing if I'm converting uh, this one space to the integer it is giving me zero that means it's converting the space to zero but if I will say decimal let's see what it will do so let's consider 10.3 10 comma 3 sorry now it is returning me null so when we convert this space uh, to the um, integer it is a uh, returning as zero and then when we convert to the decimal it is returning as a null so you want to consider those all scenarios uh, when uh, you are dealing with the, these uh, the third option I was trying to show you um, let's say you have a hyphen here in this case let's try a hyphen here last time we tried hyphen here and we see it converted to the one that was wrong information hyphen is not a number so with the try convert let's see what it do it returned us to zero so try convert is also converting the hyphen to zero but that's I don't think so that's a correct in my scenario but maybe for some people it's a okay if there is a hyphen we want to convert to zero but for me hyphen is a, not a numeric value and then uh, if we will do the same thing here with the decimal what happened so it is returning to the null in this case I'm, I'm feeling like when you're converting to decimal is taken more correct uh, uh, output or returning as uh, correct because hyphen is not a numeric value so you want to play with these functions and the C and the last option I was telling you you want to use your own function so you have these scenarios you have you know your data you can um, delete uh, your um, sorry you can analyze your data and write those scenarios or remove those uh, hyphens or spaces or whatever and then um, convert your data or uh, find out uh, or evaluate your data is if it is uh, numeric or not so you have to write your own function so here what I have uh, I have uh, put all these values of uh, what I was trying to show you there uh, in the table so let's uh, run this query now we have the data in the temp table and then uh, I'm going to show you query I'm using so all these values uh, we have uh, in the table and then uh, next part uh, I use this uh, select query in the first column uh, I'm using is numeric and trying to find out okay wh what exactly will happen with these values uh, and next uh, I'm using try convert with the decimal as I showed you in the other window how it works uh, 
and uh, then I'm using a try convert with integer. In the last, uh, I'm using case statement. I'm saying when uh, it is hyphen, uh, uh, this is not uh, numeric. That's uh, I am writing that case statement for myself. I I feel like hyphen is not uh, a numeric, so that I want to um, output uh, as a not numeric value. And then uh, I'm uh, using uh, when uh, try convert decimal. If it is not null. Uh, it means uh, uh, that value is numeric right so I'm saying then numeric and the same thing uh, when uh, it is able to convert uh, to the integer then we have numeric and uh, if any value is not able to convert with these scenarios I'm saying that is uh, not numeric and I'm ending as uh, is numeric or not numeric so I can run this query sorry let me so I can run this query and now you see that I have to let me drag this we see that for dollar 200 is numeric return one but uh, our try um, convert for decimal or for integer return us null so it was not able to convert or uh, these values to the numeric and uh, that's why we say as I'm using the last uh, um column by using try uh, try convert so i'm saying it is not numeric and the same way uh, for uh dollar 234 dollar sign uh, is numeric is also telling us this is a not numeric value and the same goes for our try convert for decimal as integer hyphen we see that is numeric is taken as one uh, when we convert it to decimal by using try convert it took as a null and but uh, when we convert to the integer by using try convert uh, it return us zero and uh, i have underscore for underscore all these three are um, returning the same results and uh, we have one and uh, these are the correct values so i have one uh, hyphen two so i was trying to look at different scenarios so this is also correct result uh, produced by is numeric or try convert uh, decimal as well as the try convert um, uh, integer conversion so it, the last one i want to show you here see 24d09 is a numeric said that okay this is a, a numeric number but uh, uh, try convert uh, uh, was not able to convert the value and return us uh, null so that th this case statement you can use uh, to find out uh, uh, if uh, your data is numeric uh, or not numeric uh, with the try convert function if you are using uh, a new versions of SQL server such as uh, 2012 and 2014 uh, in old version you have is numeric but there are some uh, uh, problems with that or false information I showed you with the examples uh, so you have to take a, a detailed look uh, before you use this function or the last option you write your own function uh, and uh, uh, take care of these uh, all other characters and convert uh, um, to your or evaluate uh, to your uh, results uh, uh, depending upon the data uh, as you will have logic inside your own function so thanks very much for watching this video the script uh, will be uh, available on the blog post and it is uh, you can just uh, go to description and uh, the link is there so you can hit it and uh, it will take you to the blog and you can copy from there and test it thanks